Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek the Official Starship Collection model and magazine review from Eagle Moss. This time we're up to 177, so that just means three more of the standard collection to go after this. We have the Sheliak Colony Ship from the Next Generation. Was it Series 2 or 3? I think it was, en it was Ensigns of Command. The one with the data's on one planet trying to do help this, this planet being destroyed by the Sheliak who are claiming it while Picard and the rest of the crew go to the Sheliak ship and stop them from destroying it. But, um, yeah, let's put the magazine to one side because there's a lot, magazine, the model to one side because there's a lot to talk about with that, as you can possibly see on the design work on it. But we'll see that in here anyway. Right, Sheliak calling a ship, 24th century, debatable, 470 metres long, propulsion warp. Now, now if this was a Sheliak ship, and if they are a specific specific species, then where does the merchantman ship come from? Now, here's the Sheliak colony ship. I mean, it, it, it's nice. I do like the design of this, and and yeah, I, I'm going to address the elephant room straight away. It is the merchantman ship from Star Trek Three. Where it came from, whether just a standard Federation merchant ship, and this would be a lot bigger design of it, who knows? But there's obviously a lot of things been added to the ship over the over the decades. If it is, if it not, then the merchantman only looks like a small ship anyway, not 400 odd meters long. And you can tell the design there, but you can also tell there's a lot of things on there, which. The strange thing about this, when the angles that I remember watching the Next Generation series, I don't remember it being the Merchantman ship, and it is. I mean, there's a Shelly Act down the bottom there, if you can see them. Looking very much like, oh, there's a creature out of Battlestar Galactica. Not the remake, the original series. I forgot what you call them, is it Supreme Leader or something? It looks very much like it's copied from that. So, we have... You can see the standard ship there. Lateral sensor arrays, okay. Resupply port, one of the side, warp, nacelles, main bridge at the front, sensor dome on the top of here. So they've obviously bulked this out a lot from the original model, which is nice. If they've got this model in storage, doing absolutely nothing, why not? This is what they were notorious for doing in the early years. I mean, nowadays you can make a different design of ship, give a hundred people, just, just free reign, do what you want. It's a different different alien species. Off you go. Shelliac colony ship, reuses of it. Oh. There is an Altec vessel. See, the Merchant Man's there. Let's, I'll get you in. Merchant Man's there from Star Trek 3, the search for Spock. And then we have, apparently, the Altec vessel. And the Shelliac colony ship. I can't fold you in because my stand's in the way. There we go, a bit better. Then we also have the Peltar Zell escort vessel. Four series next generation. Okay. And the Bucknor. That from DS9, obviously. The Vidian starship. Okay, I can't tell that at all. Oh, oh, yeah, I do like the model, and I've never actually seen it. The Fed Federated uh, Klingon transport ship, that's in mid blow up anyway, so you can't really tell. But I do like the ship, I just didn't realise they'd use it that often. Hmm. But I think my favourite one is the Star Trek Three ship, the Merchant, Merchant Man. Is that Mr. Maddox? Yes. Was did played a part? Well, not the same actor, but the d same character played a part in the latest Picard series. Yeah, it'll be series three. Then won't it with Ensigns of Command? Because there's Data in the middle there. What's 
episode that the the episode the defector yeah and of course we had the Borg episode and the guy who plays Rom in Deep Space Nine I cannot remember his name but he is Rom I think I've actually met him in the um, in a Comic Con at Sheffield once uh, it's just, just the name just does not spring to my mind at the moment. I do apologise, sir. So, Batman view, Chelyak, done. 178 next time, the Hoosnack, which is another Series 3 Next Generation. I look really interesting. The Hoosnack were the species, well, you'll have to wait and see next month. Looking forward to that one. So let's get into here and see what's what. The numbers 0151A slash A. So 151st is quite good on numbers wise, I think. Oh, that's tight here. Seems there are parts that could break on this. Let's get the stand over and done. We'll see if it fits. Guessing it goes over there. That's straight. Well, that doesn't seem to want to fall off. Just sits, doesn't grip into place. It's fine for anybody who's interested. And I'm not, so don't use the stands. But this is... Wow. They have added a lot onto this. I would have brought the Merchantman ship out to do a direct compare. But it's boxed up. It's not behind me. It's in the loft. So unfortunately, this is a review of the Sheliak. And not a compare. So let's have a look on here. Warp nacelles at the front. They're just massive. Lump being dumped onto the front there. There's a lot, already a lot of detail work. If you could focus in, there you go. On the ship. Looks like it's been a lot of weathering. A lot of carbon scoring there. A bridge section in the middle. So the bridge looks very much like a, a Vulcan. Oh, you stop this, Ralph. Klingon ship. And that just a dome, but a straight edged dome there. There's the ports there. But then the add on the back of here. And lots of extra detail work. And you can tell the original ship behind here. But completely different colour, a lot of different weathering. There is a section underneath there which is actually shorter on this. There's a longer wing underneath it. Looks like a ship that's been assimilated by the Borg. Let's turn you around. Let's get you underneath this. Looks like spotlights underneath. Lots and lots of detail, hell of a lot of weathering. They look nice. You know, these wings here, which do remind, they, they are the Reliant sort of type, because they have the vents on the back of their, or the parent grills on the back. So a copy of the design of that. That looks like a second bridge there in the middle. First one's obviously here. Second, but it's, it must be some sort of impulse warp, core, pipe work off the back. Nice engine paint in there. Nice, uh, I want to say nicely lined up, but I was looking at this one here. That one's overspilled. Hmm. I do like this in lots of different ways. And I don't like it for a few. That it's a copy of another ship, but it's nice they reused it and it was surprising how much they reused this ship. I mean, in the last review with the Torellian, that was used quite a few times. I don't think it was used as much as this. It's surprising how they how much stuff they actually reuse over and over again. I mean, the, the, on the sh 
I think that'll have been the angle you'll have seen it coming in at flying towards you and then facing the Enterprise would have been kind of like that the Enterprise over here looking yeah looking at the Enterprise a standoff there's some, there's some green section underneath here paintwork yeah so there's a hell of a lot of detail work on these that's bronzing section there the metallics on this do blend really well together there's a lot of looks like an old ship with new sections being bolted to it Hi. Hi, we like this. We like this a lot. We're getting to like this a lot, lot more. So, there we go. These are so going to break. <laughs> I'm surprised that the pie works on here are quite solid. I mean, glued on. As in for materials, I think this bottom section here looks like it's metal. Restricts plastic, not sure about these parts here. I think these are probably plastic. So it's big solid center section and the plastic stuff bolted to it. So there we go. That's the Sheliak colony ship. Number 177. Wow. Three to go. I mean as for the, the ones that are coming up. Oh, 177, that's one, That's the Shelly. They've got a Husnack coming up soon, 178. Then the Vidian ship. So that's the last one of the Voyager. And then the Borg Cube, which the Borg Cube, we're going to be disappointed with because it's going to be that big. And we got the Borg Cube that big, which was a free subscriber gift. And then the, the Japanese version. So much detail. Tiny bit small, but so much detail. I don't have that. It's too expensive. There's no way in hell that will ever come my way unless somebody's kind enough to donate one to me. But they are as rare, as rare as unicorn tears. So, yeah. Never going to show up. Unless they redid one and do this instead of the Borg Cube. That they're actually showing on the webpage. But, yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to have that as, just a, as a, a special, like the Glynn was for the Discovery Collection. That was either fought after or argued over and goes for an absolute fortune because there were only 492 made. Well, 500 made, but 492 survived the move. So, yeah, that's a different collection for a different time. So thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm on social media. Just have a search on Google for me. And if you want to donate something, please get in touch. Either Twitter, tweet me, Facebook. Email me, the description's in the channel description. If you want to be a Patreon, help out the channel, keep me going a little bit longer, then there's just every, all the links in the description below and help out as much as or as little as you can. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in a new video. Bye for now.